Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. Happy, happy new year to everybody. I hope y'all had a good holiday break. Check out my new hat that my wife got me for Christmas. It's pretty cool. Uh, but in this video, we're going to be taking a look at Kareem's underwear. So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at Kareem's underwater blueprint version 2. Now, I made a video about the version 1 about two weeks ago, but he sent me a message and said, hey, yo, check out my version 2. It looks a lot better. And yes, it freaking does. So the only bad side is this one is not free because of Gumroad restrictions. Uh, so he had to put this up for at least $1. In my opinion, is worth a lot more than $1. So if you check out the link in the description below, again, I'm supporting this artist. I'm not getting paid by making this video, but this is such great work that I think people should check out. All right, so with that being said, I already purchased it and I already have it loaded in my project. Now, this sample underwater level actually comes with the actual map. Uh, asset that you pay for uh, a couple of things he changed here he added a couple more fish realistic ones i think mackerel and another thing but the biggest change of it all in this version is the water shader so if you look up right there that looks a lot better than the previous version i mean the previous version looked really good but he really put in some work uh, as far as that surface level right there it looks great so yeah let's kind of walk around in here so you can see it I'll even turn on my uh, FPS here so you can kind of have an idea on how heavy this scene is here. But my goodness, man, this this just looks freaking, this looks great. Again, I'm not really planning on making any underwater short, short film anytime soon, but I had to check this out because it is absolutely mind-blowing. It's, oh gosh, just take a look at this. Just For this to run real time right now, what you're looking at right now is... It's just incredible. But let's go take a look at a water shader now. Uh, if we go to my blueprint here, it's got all the mesh. We got underwater five, and I'll just kind of move this to the left. And what I'll do is I'll select the search button here for the actual water shader. And if I double click this material, this is what he improved here. Okay, so here we are in the material surface. This is an instance. Uh, so you can change some settings here. You can actually change the opacity of that water shader to make it more foggy if you want to. So I'm going to go with extreme changes here so you can kind of see what that's doing. So in here, I'll put like 10. You can kind of see that water changed a lot. It's a little bit more murkier. And then I'll go with like zero and it's going to be a lot more clear. So that's kind of cool. Uh, I'll go ahead and press one. And we have the depth right here and the tiling you can change as well. So you can really see what that's doing. The more it looks like, the more tiles you have, the water gets less disturbed, if that makes any sense. That's just kind of like my um, my observation on that. See, so if I go to the left, you're going to see that it's like whipping a lot more, which is cool if you're trying to go with that effect. And again, the fishes here are kind of cool. I love fishing, okay? I When I used to live in Florida, I absolutely love fishing. So this is really freaking cool to me because here in Vegas... I don't have an ocean to fish in. Uh, additionally, for the water shader, you can actually change the waves too. That looks kind of cool. So again, let's go to the extreme of 100 to kind of show you what that is. Um, that is kind of insane. That is a little bit too much. And I'll go to like five. You can have a lot more, you know, clearer water type of deal. And it's it's so crazy that somebody can just make this. And really, for a dollar, again, it's it's pay what you think it's worth. This is worth. A lot of money i think uh so it's really nice for karim to just kind of make this available for us um yeah you have a lot more settings in here and i'm going to close this because what i'll do is just show you the um the fish in here as well so here's the fish we have an angel fish we have a beta fish you had a lot more yeah the mackerel koi this is actually so the, the fish system is actually driven by niagara system so if i go to the window here you can actually see it this is niagara right here i can actually hide it if i want to so that's a lot of fish <laughs> there's actually a lot of fish in here and let's just you know take a look at it in the sequencer because again this if you want to make like a video about it or something it would be really freaking cool so we have a camera here it's like perfect timing for like that movie avatar which i haven't seen yet i might watch it tomorrow i just felt like it was being 
really, really overhyped. I, I just don't like it when movies get so overhyped. It's like, oh, it sold one point something million. Was it really that good? Or was it just advertised well? So anyways, I'm just ranting off here. I know I think some of y'all actually grabbed the version one. You, If you grab the version one, you might want to check this one out as well. That's just so cool. I mean, I really do like the bubbles as well. That uh, fish is like random moving up. I mean, that Niagara system is not too bad either if you just need like a backdrop. That's so cool, man. I just got to add some redfish in here now, which is my favorite fish. Look at that. It's actually swimming. Look at the picture of this turtle. I like turtle. That's cool, man. Can we put it in cinematic to see if it'll destroy my computer? Oh, yeah. That looks a lot better. That is wicked, man. Sorry. I'm just playing around with this now. What happens if I change this to like... 150. Ooh, that looks crisp. That is a crispy turtle. That looks so good, dude. Oh, man. All right. So let me go ahead and switch to 100. And then um, I'm pretty much going to call this video. I don't want it to be too long. But that looks incredible. Put it on full screen so we can really blow up the MSI 4090 so I can get the 5090 next year. Oh, come on. Oh, I guess I did just fry it. But yeah, that's pretty much it, y'all. That is Kareem's Underwater Blueprint version 2. Man, you should really, really, really check it out if you like underwater stuff. Because this, I can't, I mean, I've been saying so many good things about it. Because it is truly, truly incredible. Alright, with that being said, thanks for watching. And I'll see y'all later. Peace out.